My friends, throughout the so-called lockdown period, civil authorities ordered gyms to be closed. A number of people told me that since their gym closed in March, they haven't gotten as much exercise as normally they do. A friend of mine lamented that he put on 10 pounds while he was stuck at home. Health experts tell us that diet and exercise are key to good physical health, and of course, they're right. But what about our spiritual health? Does not our soul need to be exercised just like the body? The answer is yes. We need to exercise our soul through prayer. We need to put our soul on a diet by fasting from food and abstaining from other forms of self-indulgence, even those that are legitimate. Otherwise, the soul, like the body, can grow spiritually flabby and lethargic. You know, St. Paul describes the spiritual life in terms of an athletic contest. St. Ambrose of Milan referred to the Psalms as, and I quote, the gymnasium of the soul, as if to say prayerfully reciting the Psalms puts us through our spiritual paces. St. Ignatius of Loyola's most famous work on, on the spiritual life is entitled Spiritual Exercises. So coming out of the coronavirus, as I hope and pray we are, it's a good time to ask whether we've grown spiritually flabby during this stay-at-home period or not. Now is that time for you and me to get into shape by getting back to Mass and the sacraments and by engaging in some form of self-denial. God bless you. God keep you.